We got a small block Chevy right here. Got one of our Go Street EFI systems on it. Just a fresh install. We wanna walk you through the steps on how to do the initial setup. So it'll help you cater your way through to getting the system up and running the first time. So the very first thing that we're gonna do is we'll key on the first time. Every time you key on, you get a prime shot from the injectors and the fuel pump suck, uh, cycles for four seconds. In a setup like this, where we have a returnless setup, so there's no return, what I wanna do is I wanna cycle the key a few times until I get some fuel out of the throttle body. That's just purging all the air in the system. If you're running a complete looping system, usually one key cycle is enough to flush the lines, but we wanna make sure we got fuel up to the throttle body. Simultaneously, I also do highly recommend that you go around, put your fingers around all the fittings, see if you got any fuel on your hands, check for any fuel leaks. We're gonna start the engine, so it's a great time before you start to check for any types of leaks. Also do a once over, make sure all, your, all of your connections are tight. Once we got that set up, we're comfortable with how the system is, we're gonna jump over to our handheld and we're gonna go through the initial setup. So here we are on the handheld. The very first thing that we want to go through is the Go EFI initial setup, option number four. We're going to pop it open and we're going to do our first setting engine setup. This is the base calibration that we throw into the EFI systems. This will fire off pretty much any crate Chevy 350. The engine that we got here is a 400 cubic inch with a pretty radical cam. So we're going to adjust a lot of these things, um, starting with our engine cubic inch, we're gonna hit edit and clear. Being a 400, I'm gonna toss it in, hit okay. A big thing with any setting that you change, you wanna hit the okay button or send to ECU to verify that you wanted that change. This is a pretty radical cam, so we're gonna jump over to four. Again, hit okay, send it to the ECU. We're gonna leave our rev limit alone right now and our idle RPM warm which is what we're gonna set our idle to. We're gonna bump this up to 800 right now. We're running this on pump gas, so we're not gonna put any ethanol in, but a quick tip for you guys, if you run an E85, run this to 85%, and you can run any of the Phytech systems on E85, just be aware that the horsepower of the system drops by 30%. So that menu is now done. Everything that we've changed, we hit send to ECU. We got that set. Next is our fuel setup. We generally don't need to mess with anything, but sometimes if you're changing how your fuel pressure regulator is referenced, if you're using the one that's on the throttle body, it has a vacuum line hooked to it, you'll leave it on yes, it's referenced. In our case, it is not because we're running a returnless system, so we're gonna change that to no. Next is our idle setup. Again, it's just our RPM that we wanna run warm. Our idle screw set TPS, we're gonna leave at normal, but that's where we go to set our throttle for the IAC steps. Next is our fan setup, which is just what temperature we wanna turn on our electric fan, what temperature we wanna shut off, which needs to be below the on, and then enable, disable. That's perfectly fine for us right now. Here's our AC menu. We don't have AC on our engine stand, so we're not gonna use it, but you can choose in here to enable or disable it, and then how many RPM you want the engine to increase when the air conditioning's on. Last one's our reset. This is where we would go if we were gonna reset the learn, the idle, the TPS, anything like that, but fresh install, we don't need to worry about it. We've now got our base parameters in. It's that simple. We're gonna jump over to the dashboard and we're gonna use the dashboard to know when the system is saved and shut off. So we can see that there's values in the value column. We're gonna shut off, and then when the values disappear, the computer itself is completely saved and disconnected. So there you go, the system saved and disconnected. Just a tip for you guys too, the handhelds, they plug in. Your memory is not stored in the handheld, so you could unplug them, throw them in the glove box, you don't need them. But when you're running down the road, you're always welcome to hook them up and use them. But now that we got our system saved, we're ready to get started. Now, if you were to not have hit send to ECU, 
every single setting that you didn't hit send to ECU would have reverted back. But you can see here, everything's still there. We're ready to get going on the next step and fire up the engine. So there you have it. That's the initial setup of one of the Go EFI systems. This is the Go Street system here. I wanna emphasize the setup procedure is effectively the same for the LS, the Ultra Ports, the Ultra Ram systems. They all have an initial setup menu that you plug in your parameters to. Yes, the LS asks you what crank you have, uh, what crank sensor, the Ultra Port systems ask you what injector size you use, but all of that is provided to you. So the setups are pretty straightforward and simple. Just remember, hit send to ECU on every one that you change. If you have any other questions, definitely ask them down below. If you have suggestions on future videos, please ask them in the comments as well. Thanks for watching.